Chapter two continued. His father frowned, his mother grew pale, his little sister began to cry. His father took down his double barreled gun. He believed his son. He went out, he locked the door, he got in his car. He drove to the next farm. But the farmer laughed. He was a fat red man with a fat red mouth laugh. When he stopped laughing, his eyes were red too. <laughs> An iron man, nonsense, he said. So Hogarth's father got back in his car. Now it was dark and it began to rain. He drove to the next farm. That farmer frowned. He believed. Tomorrow, he said, we must see what he is, this iron man. His feet will have left tracks in the earth. So Hogarth's father again got back into his car. But as he turned the car in the yard, he saw a strange thing in the headlamps. Half a tractor lay there, just half, chopped clean off, the other half missing. He got out of his car and the other farmer came to look too. The tractor had been bitten off. There were big teeth marks in the steel. No explanation. The two men looked at each other. They were puzzled and afraid. What could have bitten the tractor in two? There in the yard, in the rain, in the night, while they had been talking inside the house. The farmer ran in and bolted the door. Hogarth's father jumped into his car and drove off into the night and the rain as fast as he could homeward. The rain poured down. Hogarth's father drove hard. The headlights lit up the road and bushes. Suddenly, two headlamps in a tall treetop at the roadside ahead. Headlamps in a treetop? How? Hogarth's father slowed, peering up to see what the lights might be up there in the treetop. As he slowed, a giant iron foot came down in the middle of the road, a foot as big as a single bed. And the headlamps came down closer and a giant hand reached down towards the windshield. The Iron Man! Hogarth's father put on speed. He aimed his car at the foot. Crash! It knocked the foot out of the way. He drove on faster and faster. And behind him, on the road, a clanging, clattering boom went up as if an iron skyscraper had collapsed. The iron giant, with his foot knocked from under him, had toppled over. And so Hogarth's father got home safely. <laughs>